really rely on him, you can rely on National Grid and the what's called the ISA, the Interconnection Service Agreement. That is gospel. That's the point. Yeah. Did you really answer our question on why nine LLCs? Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm just looking at the value of the whole project. <coughs> I understand it's time consuming to go through the review by the Energy Society Board, but uh, the land's going to be disturbed. I, you know, I get it. You're on a time constraint as uh, we are trying to get the best return on uh, for the town. Too bad we couldn't go to the 57 megawatts because it's, the, the, the land is going to be disturbed and you could probably get 57 megawatts. But we can understand your position, keeping it below 40 for the initial application. Got it. Yeah, can you just explain why it went, it went so low? Again, I've only heard it once. It's, it's so. just, well, number one, National Grid, the design is done at its 38.4. Um, there was a lot of going back and forth with the PUC. It does not need to go because it's not an individual project. It's not a power plant um, outside of that. But at the same time, the only thing that changes is I have to go back to planning. So the planning department could make this project smaller. The reason it dropped down is because there's a lot of areas that we were going to put panels on, and we left big animal corridors in it. We were talking with them. So when we went to planning for approval, they gave us a whole shopping list of what they're looking for. So we did a lot of habitat outside of the fence line that most developers wouldn't do that have, that they should be shrub habitat that have to be maintained as part of the whole program do use um, scheme that we did here. So we worked very closely with the biologists and we've been working very closely with, with DEM on this project. So the besides the, the, the project, if it was maximum, and we weren't worried about the 40, it only went up to 43.5 because we pulled back the project. So as we developed the project, it got smaller due to, to do less impact on the land. So this 400 acres there, we're using you know, 178 of those 400 acres. But that, that 178, that's only because that's based on the law of 20%, right? Not, not because of wildlife corridors or something like nope, that. Nope, it's because, right? no, we, we shrunk it because of the land topography. We shrunk the site because of what the plan of work was looking for from day one. They gave us a whole list before the council. There's a whole series, if you go back to those meetings, exactly what they wanted. They wanted to make sure that animals had a way to get out. That's why the fences are all lifted. Uh, they wanted to make sure that there was areas that we just didn't trap the animals in areas. So there was a lot, there was a lot of thought with the planning department on that. Um, from the original plan, but we were always very um, exact when we said it. That's why we always gave the amount per megawatt of what that actually is, so we would know once we got here. But the design is locked in, the electrical design and everything is locked in, right down to the type of panel. So, so since I have you up here, can I ask you another question? Sure. It seemed like you were a pretty generous guy in some of the earlier conversations. Can you speak to the one-time payment? Because it's, it's in our packet, so it's 192000 but it sounded like that there is the ability for the town to negotiate other projects. There, there was an ability that was asked if we would help work on something. There was an ability to talk about the one-time payment. That's something I can control. The one-time payment, I can't control uncertainty on taxes, but a one-time payment for the project, if it's 190 or 285000 is not going to change the project long-term economic story. But you're willing to update the language if that was the direction the council was willing to go inside your agreement? Or I, I was very clear, and I, and I said to Mr. Buscini that exactly what Mr. Borak had said, if, if you want the cash in an account, so let's say um, we get we get through this, we leave in the cash in an account, an interest-bearing account, where you decide if it's a soccer field, a, a bus for the senior center, whatever you want, it would be given before the building permit was issued simultaneously. But yes, it was correct what Mr. Warwick had said. I just wanted to know if you were willing to update the agreement. That's yeah, absolutely. Just wondering if you're going to put me on for a vote someday. Any other discussion? I just think that through the administrator, we can uh, try to get a date set of a meeting that we can be uh, discussing. Yes, you think we're in agreement with that? Then we think that's the next step. Well, can I ask a question about that? If we go that well, we have another, we'll have another chance to review it like we did the last oh, yeah. time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The whole yeah. council still has to approve it. Yeah. No. If I could just clarify so I understand uh, procedurally, the public hearing would close after tonight, and then it would just be deliberation and vote by the council? Correct. Thank you. Thank you. 
that's, Mr. I think that's the council's intention. You have a list of the public comments. Mm -hmm. I would hope that the council and take them into consideration and them in the deliberation yep. in the deliberation for the final document. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I think, yeah. I think that's, the, that's the whole thing. made through the town clerk. Can you enumerate all those things to get into uh, the special? I mean, it's yes. public record, but yes. we can get it to uh, President Bennett and myself and the rest of the council that we'll be going through it so we'll be able to make sure that these are addressed. Mm -hmm. Again, that's assuming the council does not believe that they're going to, in their mind, they're going to need a need for another public hearing. We want to, we wouldn't want to have to go to the advertising again. If you did, then I would no, continue the public hearing. We have covered the public hearing. As long as you're comfortable, then you can The question that I have to you then, should we vote? The council authorizes? Yeah, I would, yeah, I would do that. So the, so the people are aware of what's going on. Because that meeting is going to be less than a majority of the council. Is that going to be a public meeting? No. Okay, so no, I that would be like the previous meeting. The negotiating team. Yeah, I, I hope people don't think that this is a behind doors meeting. It's a, a, a president. It will be come out. It will come, come back out public, and everyone will know oh, what yeah. we discussed. But you, I can hear it now. Well, I mean, oh, you, know. you know, it's kind of you're gonna get thicker skin. No, I have pretty thick skin. I'm just trying to. Is so, is there is there a motion to authorize myself with the vice president, Mr. Zelensky, to meet with the administrator and the solicitor and? People will probably bring the government to, move to try to move this thing forward to get an agreement that we can agree to that we can bring before the council. Oh, okay. Motion moved. Motion by Mrs. O'Hara. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mrs. Barbioli. Any other discussion? So, even in, so in the meeting after. In the meeting after you guys meet and then we come back as a council and review it, that, that doesn't guarantee a vote next time after that. We may or may not still have a vote. Yeah, I just, I just want, I know sometimes people think that there could be a vote, so I'm just going kind of like right. asking. People, they right. could be, yeah, 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 Mr. President, again, just to, to, to be clear about how we will, will proceed, I would just encourage the council, the council is now, if you don't feel that the public hearing has identified the issues of your concern and you have to put them on the record, you should put them on the record now. Because you can't have a look, you can't start sending emails to people saying, don't oh, talk, talk about this, talk about, you can't do that. Does uh, anybody on the council feel that the issues that you're concerned with and the public are concerned with have been stated on this record for the, the team to take to the developer? I mean, that's important. But that's why I asked the town clerk. If you, feel, if you don't feel comfortable, then I would say that, you know, something should be provided or a, a period you know, something should be done before maybe a, uh, another council meeting where this stuff is going to be laid out if you, if you don't feel comfortable that's been done now. I, I just want council people to understand we can't have conversations beyond those two council people right. about something in that negotiation has to be stated. We're, we're, taking, we're, we're taking what's taking place tonight and we're going. That's why I said, any, any other comments? And, doesn't mean you can't bring up something later in another meeting, but right. I just it can't be a, a rolling form is the word, right? But to get hyper technical, it can't be a rolling yep. form. That's exactly I, what it is. In I fact, the council just got uh, penalized by the, the attorney general's department for sending a text to one another during the council meeting. Oh, not this council. Not this council. Yeah. <laughs> well, so actually, not this council. It can't be me because I don't text. Don't worry. We dealt with that about eight years ago in the town of North Smithfield. Okay. Okay. The valley breeze. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, right just, so, just so the record is clear so we know what's going to happen. Yeah. I, I do have one comment. So the tax stabilization as far as the decommissioning or the one-time payment, that is within the development agreement. Correct. That is not. That's still an agreement that this council decided. That's still an agreement on. we will work on, but that is not something that is part of the tax stabilization. That, that, that's correct. Okay. Two pieces. They're two, different, to be pieces. They're two pieces. different pieces. Those the council the should, the planning board needs both of those. Right. They, need, they need a development agreement and a tax stabilization. Both of those will be discussed in the middle. I would like to see an independent audit. I would like to see us explore that, follow our ordinance, and have someone take a look at the decommissioning costs 
I just think it's good practice on that path. Uh, for instance, in public, I'll say the brief, but we're going to take the first not to fall once, and now we set a precedent that I don't think we want yeah. to follow. If I could just have to clarify your, your question, the development agreement is an exhibit to the tax stabilization agreement, so they're a little bit joined at the hip. Any other discussion? Any number of call vote? Mrs. Connolly? Yes. Mr. Hart? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Zelensky? Yes. Mr. Yes. Excellent. There's a motion to adjourn. So motion. If I could just ask for clarification, was, was there going to be a motion to close the public hearing on this? Already been done. That's it. Already been done. Thank you. Motion to adjourn this present. Motion by Mrs. Zelensky. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mrs. O'Hara. Mm. Nine o'clock.